Okay, our um, current mailbox is in a sad state. So one of the things we're of course going to do is replace it. And we found this gorgeous, you know, large um, steel mailbox with a nice um, magnetic clasp, a nice easy moving arm, oops, easy moving arm, nice magnetic clasp, large capacity for when I receive parcels, because I sometimes do, online shopping, yay. And what I'm going to do today is, it's trivial, but you know, it's little touches that kind of make things feel more fun. So I am going to put our name, our last name across the top, and then over here I'm going to add our street number. And um, because I'm going to, you know, not use decals or um, pre-cut vinyl or anything, I'm going to paint it myself. And I'm actually going to use some of the paint colors that we have testers of for the house. Which one? Oh, oh that's one of the lighter ones. Um, but yeah, we're going to use the actual house paint colors if I can find them. Oh, there it is. So that, you know, they will go with the color of the house. Even though I think gold would look really pretty with this finish, it's called Venetian Bronze. This is the box that it came in. We're just gonna, you know, we're gonna stick with the, try and stick with a the theme here. And I don't know, maybe I'll print something decorative on this, this centerpiece here just to, um, I don't know, maybe like a monogram or something. That would be pretty. Yeah, I like that. Uh, but since the biggest problem with uh, freehanding anything and you're trying to, you know, you're trying to keep all your letters uniform is that and eventually either the letters are going to get smaller as you go across or they're going to get bigger. So I'm actually using washi tape as a guide and this actually, because this washi tape is patterned like a ruler, even though I guess, yeah, it looks about like an inch, so it might actually be correct. But this way I can actually kind of mark off. See, the, uh, the top is for the a capital, our capital V, and any of the risers, and uh, or ascenders, rather. And then underneath here is where I will keep all of the lowercase letters. This will be the half line. So that's basically two inch and three inch, although the V may, um, you know, be a little swirly. I don't know. We'll figure that out. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So here is the prepared, the sketched side of my mailbox. Um, we've got our name up on the top register and the house number at the bottom. We figure they probably know what street they're on already. Um, and you probably can't see in the video too well. Let's see. Um, let's see if that showed up. But I've just used a regular pencil to kind of sketch in what I'm going for, just based, and then I've used the washi tape, um, and it's broken for the, the risers in our, our name, to help make sure that all my letters are the same height and eh, roughly the same width. And I'm not super worried about that. Um, it's height that usually makes, makes it the difference in this sort of situation anyway. Um, just, you know, making sure that everything is as it should be. And then I'm using, um, again, it'll be more obvious when I start out in paint, but I'm using a, uh, you know, the wide uh, verticals, um, so to give it a more, uh, a calligraphy look, even though obviously it's not gonna be calligraphy. So, uh, and then on the other side, since this, the first side that I'm doing is the one that the post office will see. So, you know, useful for delivering mail and parcels and so forth and we'll be closest to that side of the street. But on the other side, we thought we'd go ahead and just, again, add our name, but you know, on the lower register, sure, just so that if somebody's coming from the north, um, and our, would it be west, east, something. Anyway, coming from the other side of the street, instead of, you know, out of town rather than downtown, then, you know, if they're looking for a mailbox, then this will help tip them off. And then finally, on the front, I have, you know, we've got this great uh, big circle here. I thought it would be nice 
to add a, um, a pretty little monogram. So I've kind of sketched out our initials for that. And uh, now it's time to get painted.
open it. Mailbox with our name and street number on the working side, the side that the postman will see coming um, up the road. And then I added a decorative monogram to the front. And then on the other side, just because, you know, if we've got people looking for our house from the other side, then we have our name again, but no street number because, yeah, they can see that on the house. Here lies the not so dearly departed former mailbox. We went ahead and we we cut off the post um, at about the height we think that we're going to um, need to support the new um, metal post. But you know it still needs to have wood underneath. So our plan was just to put it over there. Unfortunately, um, it's a little wider. It's kind of like loaf shaped whether it was born that way or over time it just kind of got that way, I don't know. Um, but it's, so what we're having to do now is to trim off the edge so that it'll fit inside of our metal post. I wasn't recording earlier. And Todd has found kind of like a fissure and he's wondering if he can maybe speed the process along so he doesn't have to saw the whole thing by just exploiting the natural weakness of the old wood. <laughs> it's the case of work smarter, not harder. If it works, that is. If not, we'll have to sink a new post. <laughs> and we don't want to do that. Who would have known? Who could have known? As I say, do you expect a little loaf shaped board? No. <laughs> Alright. Alright, now what about the other side? Is it because it's it, it might be enough. Okay. So if I do two, then I need two. <gasps> oh, it fits. Now a rubber mallet to try and tap it down a little bit more. Now there are holes in the side. Are we gonna um, yeah, that's where the screws screw are. it into the, the post? Okay. Though I don't think anyone would really want to walk away with a customized mailbox that isn't their name. Surprised. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know.
the side. What do you mean? There's supposed to be holes in the side here. To... Oh. <coughs> yeah. Are you sure? Well, you can do it two ways. That's one way. Well, apparently that's not the way you wanted, they want you to do it apparently for this not. model. Apparently not. <laughs> outside and exposed to the elements and all that good stuff, but, you know, we're trying to make it look pretty. Yeah, it got a little scuffed already. Yeah. Who do you think did that? Gee, I wonder. As has previously been noted, there are no um, mounting holes on the outside of the mailbox, so everything is being done inside. There we go. That'll work. Let's see. Four screws inside. Did I put it on wrong? I wouldn't be surprised. I don't know if that little locking washer has to go a certain direction. No, but this plastic has to go on the outside. Oh, so oops. It can, so it can space it away from the mailbox enough to uh, ah. keep it from Oh, scuffing. it went on that side. Oops, yeah. well, that's what I did wrong. <laughs> so that way it keeps it from scuffing up. The, right, and that makes a lot more sense your now. Your wonderful paint job. Because we don't want to scuff up your wonderful paint job. <laughs> Not any sooner than we have to. No. Well, that explains why it wasn't going on right. <laughs> and it was really wobbly on the outside. This is because I didn't pay enough attention when I took the, the flag off the first time to move it out of the way for painting. Ah, oh, much better. You well enough away from the... Yes. And it's nice, and it's not rusted, and it's bigger, and it has this nice magnetic closure. It's just a better, better fit all the way around. Agreed. Now it's not completely screwed in, is it? What? The mailbox, because it's still... That's what I'm, that's what I'm looking at. Ah, yeah. okay. That's why I needed this. Okay. Yeah, because it was wobblier than expected. That is a socket wrench. Oops, don't face plant into the mailbox. So now it's screw heads on top. So do you have to like hold the screwdriver in? Uh-huh, yep, okay. All right, so there it is. All done, installed, nice, working, beautiful. It's one replaced eyesore of many at this house, but it's a good start. <laughs>